What's up everyone, this is Cybernod, and today I have a special opening for you guys. Today I'm going to open up a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Box. So yeah, this is kind of the next, I guess, mystery power box that has come out. Uh, one of you guys actually left a comment, I think, on uh, my opening I uploaded yesterday, the Twilight Edition one, which, by the way, hadn't checked that out, be sure to do so. We had some really good luck on that. But anyway, you were telling me about these boxes that were at Walmart. So I was in town anyway, I went to Walmart, and I happened to find one of them. So we're going to see if we're going to have some good luck with this or not, because, again, it's a mystery box, so... It's hard to recommend these. I never know, you know, if you're going to do really well with them or not. But they really do market these things well because when you have Yugi and, of course, Black Luster Soldier, Black Luster Soldier on this side too, which looks awesome. And then, of course, uh, Dark Magician Chaos. So that is really cool as well. And then all these packs that you can get, supposedly. So you're supposed to get seven booster packs and then one foreign booster pack, which I think the person that left a comment said they got a French pack or something. So I wonder if you get, like, a Japanese pack as well. I, I don't know if it's all, you know... Uh, like OCG packs, if it can be, you know, other language TCG packs, no idea what to expect from this, but let's see. I mean, it was $20, by the way, too, in case people are wondering. Of course, uh, like I said, I got this at Walmart. I have no idea if they're at other stores or not, so you'll just have to check. I, I, have, I don't know, and we're just going to see if it's worth it or not. Kind of reminds me more of the value cubes, though, because you're actually getting packs, but the thing that worries me is it could be battle packs. That's the only thing I'm a little nervous about. Oh, they have like... Oh, there's actually a booster pack in here that's sealed. Oh, we got Maximum Crisis. Well, that's interesting. I thought I could feel that, you know, something was in cardboard. So that is... Yeah, that's English. Just wondering what our foreign pack's going to be. I'm trying to get all the packs out at once. There. I think I might have. So first off, uh, Dragon's of Legend 2. Oh, that's really good. I think he said uh, that as well. The person that commented, they said that they got uh, Dragon's of Legend 2. That's English as well. Uh, also have... Okay, this is the one. This is... Yeah, I think they also did too. They got a French pack of uh, Battle City. So that's what this is. Duel's Pack Battle City. Haven't seen this set in a while. That's cool. Hope we get something cool. Uh, let's see. Code the Duelist. Maybe a Firewall Dragon. Wing Raiders. You guys love that set. I actually got two of them. Let's see. Pendulum Evolution and a Raging Tempest. Honestly, not bad really on the choices. But everything, yeah. So, uh, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Because usually with things like this, I mean, you're getting a bunch of duelist packs or battle packs or something. But uh, out of everything we got there, not bad. So, uh, let's go through our packs. You know what? We'll go with the foreign pack first. French pack. Battle City. So, we'll see if we can get something cool. I guess we could get sphere mode in this, technically. Oh, we got that, uh, his, was it Hysteric Party? I know it's the uh, Harpy Ladies card. I'm trying to remember some of these cards now. Elegant Egotist, that one's easy to remember. Uh, uh, Toon Kingdom. Then, or no, uh, <laughs> Toon World. Excuse me, I had that on the brain for some reason. Explosion, and then, of course, yeah, Dark Necrofear. So, yeah, we only got a rare from that one, fortunately. Still pretty cool, though. I mean, yeah, I like opening up foreign packs anyway. Do you have Toon Kingdom? What? <laughs> I had that on the brain. I wish it was Toon Kingdom, you know? Wish it was that easy to get. Yeah, they reprinted that card. It was still like one per box. There we go. All right, so this is where Ash Blossom is. So let's go on ahead and open this up. Right? <laughs> is it going to be Ash Blossom? If I call it, then... Wow, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Kick over the camera and run out of here. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> that That's the plan. All right. Spiral, not bad. Well, we have a sub uh Final Battle and... Waterfall of Dragon Soul. So I guess you're safer now, Mr. Camera. <laughs> but not bad either. Zephyr War. Still pretty cool. Man, that, that would be amazing if you could do that, though. Raging Tempest. Yeah, a lot of these were guaranteed hollows, by the way. I think, well, basically everything, I guess. So we'll see. Zodiacs. And uh, Subterror uh, Nemesis Defender for a rare. And also, uh, Chaos Ancient Gear Giant. Not bad either. That's actually a pretty good super rare. I want some more Ancient Gear support, by the way. I know, they've had a pretty good amount of support lately, but, you know, there's still a few more cards I wouldn't mind getting. Pendulum Evolution. I'll say now's the time to get Astrograph Sorcerer, right? <laughs> With it being banned? We'll see. Maybe we'll get one, too. Well, we did get a Chronograph Sorcerer, which uh, this card's getting more hype because of Astrograph Sorcerer being gone, I guess. And a Time Star Magician as our other Ultra Rares. So yeah, you get two Ultra Rares in these. 
Not bad. Pretty good choices. Of course, let's see. Stellar Knight, Zephra, and Monolith. Not bad either. Yeah, everything from that set's easy to get, too. That's the reason you don't really get too excited about uh, the Pendulum Magicians and all that stuff, too, because at least they made everything easy to get from that set. Code of the Duelist. Come on, Firewall Dragon. That's where Firewall Dragon is, right here. First edition, even. Heart of the Cards. Tell me out here. That would also be amazing. Let's see, we have Rescue Rescue, or whatever. <laughs> Destiny Hero uh, Dangerous. Have, oh, okay, uh, DDD Wave High King Caesar. I was expecting the rare than the hollow. But yeah, we got a super on that one. Then also uh, Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing for our rare. Man, we're, we're getting like the lowest rarity we can so far. So hope we're going to get something pretty awesome here in a second. Well, we do have Wing Raiders. Let's see. First edition even. That's another thing about these boxes too. Sometimes you can do amazing and sometimes uh, her the cards isn't on your side. We'll put it that way. Let's hope it's one of those times where it is on our side. Have a Rank Up Magic uh, Doom Double Force for a rare. And, well, we got an Ultra Rare. Okay, there we go. That's better. Have a Raid Raptor Call. <laughs> Not bad at all. So, there we go. We at least got an Ultra Rare from this one. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, this is honestly a good set to get like this because it's still tough to find Wing Raiders, of course. Uh, nowadays, it's actually an older set now. And, by the way... I do have a box of this set uh, coming up very soon, because that was one of the requests I've, I've heard, so I want to make sure people know that. But we do have another pack. Let's see what we get from this one. This is where Break Sword is, right? <laughs> no, actually, I guess we want the Megazord, the Quantums, and all them. We'll see. Raid Raptors. Uh, we have Harpy uh, Harpist for a rare, and another Ultra Rare. You know what? That's a good one to get, too. Oh, man, we got Super Quantum uh, Red Lair. Oh, there we go. I remember there for a while, this was the expensive card of the set, or it might have been like the second one or something, because Break Sword, I think it's always been the, the more expensive card, really, of this set. But uh, that is a really good card to get. I think it was Monarchs that used it there for a while. And uh, it's not as uh, crazy it used to be, but it's one of those cards I can always see it coming back. And honestly, the Quantum cards are pretty good. I feel like they do uh, like have uh, you know possibility of coming back. So, that is honestly one of the better cards of the set. So, I'm glad to get that. That is really good. And some Phantom Knights as well. We know we're going to get a lot of Phantom Knights soon. I can't wait for that. I wonder what they're going to do. And Dragons of Legend 2. Now, we could actually get a Tomb Kingdom from this. That'd be awesome. Let's see. Everything's holographic, of course. Just like the other Dragons of Legend. There we go. All right, heart of the cards. What do we have here? And it looks like we have Legendary Knight Heramos. I forgot the secret is at the front. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think this is a foreign pack or something, too, because it looks darker. So this might have been from, like, the UK or, or some other printing. But either way, still cool. We also got one of the Prediction Princess. That's kind of cool. Double Magical Armband. Let's see, a tune Ancient Gear Golem. Well, at least we got a tune out of it. An Aquarium Stage. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, Wing Raiders really helped us out from this, honestly. Uh, other than that, I mean, honestly, it's a pretty cool box. Uh, again, it's more of a gamble, but I feel like I can recommend this a little easier than other things. Like, the previous things, they weren't really as good. And then, like, the cubes that they have right now where you get, like, a bunch of commons and... I think you get like two holographics or it's something along those lines. You get one of those figure hangers and all that. I don't think those are worth getting at all, by the way, because I've had people ask me if they are. No, I don't think so. I've opened up a few and I actually had good luck that one time, which even then, I don't know if it was technically worth it. I still don't recommend. But this box, I got to say, is a lot better. I feel like this is closer to the value cubes that we used to get back in the day where you get like... Uh, you would get like five booster packs. Sometimes you'd get a sixth one because they would throw in a battle pack sometimes. And then also a couple of holographic cards. So for this, for $20, you're getting, I guess, eight booster packs, one of them being foreign. And then out of this two, it was a lot of packs that have potential to give you really good cards of it. I mean, from Dragon's Legend 2, that set's tough to find. That's good. Uh, Wing Raiders, I mean, both those sets alone are usually tough to find by themselves. And if you try to get a bunch of them online, you'd probably get closer to that $20 mark. So... I feel like I can recommend this a little bit better, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to what you guys think on it, and uh, 
and these are still kind of a gamble. So let me know what you guys think. Honestly, though, I, I'm a pretty big fan of this one. I'll probably get some more of these in the future. So hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you guys see anything else like this in the future, or if you have any requests at all. Just let me know, of course, down in the comments. Also, uh, I'm on Twitter a lot as well. I try to be active on there. I don't post a ton, but I do try to read everything on there too. So if you guys have requests that you want to send on there, let me know, especially if you find stuff like at Walmart like this, because seriously, if, if that one commenter didn't say something, I'd probably wouldn't have gotten one of these because I didn't know about them. So big thank you to you. And uh, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings and news and other things too. Also ring that bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.